What's going on guys? Zonk the cow here. Hello all my kittens. Like, subscribe, share if you haven't already. Oh, this video is going to be a doozy. Ain't that flag just a beautiful thing? But every single time I hear it. Yeah, boy. Alright. Enough of the nuance. Let's, uh... Let's get into the video here. Okay, so... I was snooping around on the internet and I read the story that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez wants a raise. For what? What the hell has she done? What in the hell does she think she deserves a raise for? What has she done? What has she produced? Nothing. All she does is whine and cry and gets terrified of her garbage disposal. What has she done? What has she produced? All she does is sit there and bitch non-stop about the president. That's all she does. Is whine and complain about the president. It'd be like me going to work and whining and complaining at my supervisor that he's a shit supervisor and he's a, you know, he's a crap person and he's a racist and he's a Nazi and all this kind of other shit. <clears throat> and then saying, please sir, can I have a raise? I've only been here for six months, but I'm doing an awesome job of complaining and bitching about you. Please, can I have a raise? That's AOC. That's what she wants. She wants a raise because she sits there and bitches about the president. Well, in a word, no. In a word, he in two words, hell no. I ain't giving you shit. She wants a $4,700 raise. She already makes a hundred and forty, well, hundred and seventy-four thousand dollars a year. Well, here's the problem. She wants a raise, in my opinion, because number one, she's an entitled brat who thinks she can get away with every goddamn thing she wants. But on another fact is, she lives in D.C. D.C. is incredibly expensive to live in. Well. Not technically. Because she lives in a luxury apartment. I don't know how much her rent is, but I can pretty much guarantee it's higher, a lot higher than what I pay for. <coughs> Way higher. I had a friend of mine who used to live in D.C. and he used to live in a really, really crap neighborhood. And he was paying probably $1,200 a month for a one-bedroom. And it was a... Supposedly it was a condo, but it was a house convert, you know what I mean? But what gets on my nerves is, is that... AOC, I don't know how much she's paying. My, you know, the, my friend lived in this, in this place, and... Well... If if he if he li if he lived in this place and he was paying twelve hundred dollars a month in a crap neighborhood, you can kind of you know you can't kind of figure it out what AOC's paying for a luxury apartment in downtown DC. You're probably looking at about thirty two hundred, maybe four thousand dollars a month, maybe. Nah, I'd say around twenty five hundred, but. The point is, is that she is complaining about all the expenses and so on and so forth. What a load of crap. It is just whining and complaining to its maximum. And that's basically all she is. She whines and complains about shit she has no idea about. She doesn't 
really care about people. All she wants to do is just create news and create bullshit for herself. That's about it. I mean, there's no real other reason. Now, here's the thing. AOC, if you really wanted to, you know, be more frugal with your money, Alexand uh, there's a actually a place called Alexandria, Virginia, which is really, really close to D.C. You could go and basically live out there cheaper. And it wouldn't cost much. Or not as much as you're spending now. But if you think about it, she won't do this. Why won't she do this? Because she is a valley girl. She is a secondary rich kid. I wouldn't say rich kid. She is upper middle class. And she won't do it because she was used to a style of living right up until the point where her father wasn't making that kind of money anymore. And seeing that he wasn't making that kind of money anymore, she misses that. And to tell you the truth, I can almost guarantee you that she is, you know, basically, she's squandering all this money that she's getting from the government. I mean, she's getting free health care, for God's sake. Free health care. She gets federal health care. When she freaking, when she's no longer a, uh, when she's no longer a congresswoman, she will keep that health care. This is what you people don't understand. She will keep the health care, and she will also get retirement benefits after two years, from what I understand. Correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I understand, after two years, she will get all this lovely great health care and really good, you know, uh, uh, retirement benefit. And for what? What has she done? What in the world has this little entitled prick done for the uh, United States? She's done absolutely nothing. She sits there and, you know, tries to entitle her way through every damn thing that she thinks she's owed because she's an entitled millennial. She has no idea at all. And I personally think, you know, do me a favor. I don't care if she's replaced by another Democrat. I really don't because in her district, it's primarily Democrats anyway, so... Oops, messed that up. Now, somebody please replace this dumbass. This woman's got a head full of sawdust. She doesn't know the difference between domestic terrorism and just plain murder. She doesn't know the difference, you know, between the uh, three branches of government. She doesn't even know what the free branches of government actually was. She has no idea what the hell is is going on in her life. And she's scared of garbage disposals. Absolutely petrified of them. I think it's the funniest freaking thing on planet Earth when she spouts out this nonsense. But, you know, I, I think it's funny as hell. I think it's great. But 
you know, it's not it's not something to really laugh about, to tell you the truth. It's, it's really, really not. Because if you think about it, she actually believes this crap. Yeah, uh, she she be, she believes in the the the, the evil uh, garbage disposal. Oh God! I knew what a garbage disposal was when I was five, for God's sake. And that was on a trip to the United States when I was young. This girl, she, <laughs> she's 26 years old, and she doesn't know what a garbage disposal is. And she thinks it's terrifying. Yeah. No, 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 I don't think so. Look, uh, somebody get this woman out of office. She's a menace. She's just a freaking menace to the rest of decent society. Somebody take her and put her back into the freaking fold of being a damn bartender. Because obviously that's her intelligence. My dog has more intelligence than she does. And I don't even have a dog. For real, I mean, tell me, tell me what you think in the comment section. Because, you know, she's only been at work for six months. She's been in office for six freaking months. So, tell me something. Does she deserve a raise? I could understand if you were, you know, if, if you've been, you know, been at work for, you know, like two, maybe three or four years, or even just a year, and then asking for that raise. But she's only been there for six months, and she thinks she deserves a $4,000, over a $4,000 raise. Four grand. And she's produced nothing in that time. Nothing. Not a damn thing. She has produced no legislation. She has produced no productivity. Uh... No. <laughs> Hell no. I'm not, I'm not giving you shit. Nothing. But tell me what you think in the comment section. Um, I invite really good comments. Just keep it real clean. I don't want any partisan bullshit. You know, I don't want any, any arguments or anything like that. Just, you know, be nice. Alright. Talk to y'all soon. Later, y'all.